What's good? What's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one. So today we got the, uh, so today we got Canelo Alvarez versus Javi Maguire in the news. The post, um, I guess all the undercards have now been finalized. We'll go ahead and break that down to you before, and then I'm going to go ahead and also give you my, um, prediction. All right. So first off, we got Stan Jonas against Gabe, uh, Master, Master, I've seen this dude fight before, but I can't remember where. But apparently, this dude must have a, a, a very good amateur background because the man is 6 0 and already getting a, a title shot for the WBA. For y'all that don't know, Stanley Onis is the WBA welterweight champion. Um, it's being said that basically, I, I mean, Bud is Terrence Crawford is done with 147, so it looks like he's relinquishing all his belts and looking to fight somebody at 154 for the WBA. The IBF title. No, not the IBF. One of the titles at 154. And it ain't the WBC and it ain't the WBO. So it must be the WBA at 154. But anyways, so we got Stanley Onis against Gabe uh, Mastre or whatever. Um, which is a decent fight. It's like whatever. Gabe, ain't, Gabe um, I'm sorry, Stanley Onis ain't fought since uh april 16th of 2022 all right so you know he's been he's been out for a while now so how the hell did he, he get the wba and he's been off for two years i don't know but anyways that's all good next up we have mario barrios versus Fab fabio madonna for y'all that don't know who fabio madonna is he is the brother of marcos madonna and i really feel like that's like going a step backwards because bro i mean the dude came off of a like mario barrios came off of a great performance against um against your dennis ugas and why fight Fabio Maidana, like, who's only known because of his brother? I don't know. I just think that's a step going backwards. I would actually would, would appreciate it if uh, Mario Barrios were to fight Stan Yonis for the WBA. I mean, I think Mario Barrios is well deserving off of that last performance. I would like to see him keep going forward, not backwards. I mean, I think Fabio Maidana is moving backwards. Um, you know, but it is what it is. They're going to make that fight happen. I'm definitely picking Mario Barrios to win that fight. Um, you know, Kamaru Barrios can box. He's a good fighter. I like him a lot, right? Next up, we got Brandon Figueroa versus Jesse Mag Magdaleno. And I feel like that's like an unimportant fight. I mean, Jesse Magdaleno, he last fought, uh, Feb not February, April of last year. And, and he's coming off of a loss to Ray Ford. You know, the late Ray Ford actually just became a, a champion at 130. Shout out to Ray Ford or whatnot. But Brandon Figueroa, um, I you know, I, I like Brandon, but I don't see him, you know, I don't, I mean, he, he's a good fighter, but I don't really see him going too far um, because just because of his style, man. I think that he he has this this brawler, like not brawler mentality, but he's willing to bang a lot. And but he gets caught a lot. I would love to see him against a guy like um, Gary Russell. But Gary Russell is so inactive. It's like whatever. You know, I guess we're not going to ever see him fight again. And I, I'm kind of disappointed him and his brother. Just, you know, his brother's the younger version, the younger version of him. All right, then. Obviously, the but I'm picking uh, Je, uh, Brandon Figueroa to beat Jesse Magdaleno. I mean, Jesse Magdaleno is not really, um, he's okay, he's a good fighter, but I don't think uh, he'll get past Brandon Figueroa because Brandon Figueroa, at the end of the day, Brandon Figueroa is battle tested. All right, then, uh, finally, for the for the main event, we got Canelo Alvarez versus Jaime Maguire, which you know, I've already given my um. My, my take on that, I mean, Jaime Maguire, I don't necessarily see how Jaime Maguire deserves a fight with Canelo Alvarez uh, over the likes of David Benavidez. Um, Jaime Maguire is, you know, a good fighter. Uh, Jaime Maguire is a good fighter, but, you know, like, what did he do to, what did he do to deserve a fight with David, I mean, with Canelo Alvarez that David Benavidez didn't do? I mean, David Benavidez has fought former champions and, um, Good big names. Actually, David Benavidez fought Demetrius Andrade, who uh, Jaime Maguire turned. I mean, you know, basically ducked. Jaime Maguire was the WBO mandatory at 160, which was held by Demetrius Andrade, and Jaime Maguire chose not to fight Demetrius Andrade. Demetrius Andrade then moves up, fights I can't remember his name, and then gets obliterated by David Benavidez. The same Demetrius Andrade that Canelo Alvarez didn't want to fight for year, 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 years, but. You know, whatever the case may be, Demetrius, uh, D David Benavidez still can't get a fight. I told y'all I'm not going to make any, any more videos about that, and I'm going to keep my word on it. So, as far as this fight, I mean, listen, but I, it, it is what it is. It's not David Benavidez, but it does make for an entertaining matchup. Um, two Mexicans fighting on a Mexican holiday. 
you know, I, I think that this does a six. Actually, how many Mexicans are on this card? One, Gabe, Mario Barrios, Brandon Figueroa. Yeah. Mario, and then Canelo Alvarez and Jaime Gil. So, yeah, I mean, it's a smart. PBC did some. They, 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 it's a smart move, you know. I get what they're doing. It is what it is. You know, they're stacking up the card. And um, we shouldn't have any boring fights um, that night. You know, all, all of these fighters are going to come to bang. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, it's it's not the best card. You know, it's not a I, I was expecting a lot more. The Javante Davis fight versus um, the Javante Davis versus Frank Martin fight. That's a stacked card uh, for y'all that don't know. That's a, that's, you know, they got Tank and uh, Frank Tank and Frank. As the main event, they got David Benavidez as um, David Benavidez versus Alexander Garak or whatever uh, on the co-main event, and then you got um, who, who do you uh, you have uh, what's his name in a rematch with Edwin De Los Santos? Um, uh, uh, Ryo Ryo is fighting Edwin De Los Santos in a rematch. I think that's gonna be a dope fight. And, oh, and then it's actually rumored that uh, Demetrius Andrade is gonna fight David Morrell. Like the, all of those fights are fire. That's a fire card from you know start to finish. But this card right here, if I gotta rate it, I give it maybe a B minus or yeah, I give it like a B minus. It's not the best card, but the the the, the main event should put be action packed enough to where we feel like I guess you know we got our money's worth for those that are gonna pay for it or whatnot but you know after in my opinion canelo you know stops jaime my gear obviously because for one jaime my gear is easy to uh, be drawn into a uh, um a brawl and he you know jaime my gear does not he, he doesn't get his head off the line a lot i think that canelo alvarez he, he's kind of just tailor-made for canelo alvarez to look good against especially um just you know, the only thing that he has against or, or over Canelo Alvarez is maybe he's more fresher and he's uh, he has you know I think he's younger than Canelo Alvarez or whatever. But all, overall, I think his style is made to uh, look good against Canelo Alvarez. Now, should Canelo Alvarez get past Jaime Miguel, which I believe he will, um, you know I've given up on him versus David Benavides. Maybe he, I don't know, maybe he fights the winner of David Morrell versus Demetrius Andre. I don't know, you know, who knows, because it's not many options left for Canelo at 168, if I'm being 100% honest, the, the, the dude is beating, you know, Caleb Plant, you gotta give him his credit, you know, he's beating Caleb Plant, uh, Billy Ho Saunders, uh, Callum, you know, well, Billy Ho Saunders, he ain't been present since he lost to Canelo Alvarez, Callum Smith is now moved up to one, uh, 175, and uh, Caleb Plant is like the only one. I mean, maybe David Morrell, but I, I doubt that. David Morrell doesn't even have the backing uh, behind him, even though he is like the runner up for the WBA title. I just, I just really don't see him fighting David Morrell either. You know, so I don't know what Canelo does next after this. He's probably going to pull somebody up. May, uh, it's, it's rumored that Jamal Charlo is going to fight Caleb Plant. All right. Now, hold your breath on that. Actually, don't hold your breath on that because you know how boxing works. I would, I hope that that's true. I really pray that that's true. But uh, I was gonna say he probably will fight Jamal Charlo. Um, but if Jamal Charlo's fighting Caleb Plant, then I, I don't, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Jamal Charlo at this stage wins that fight. Um, but you know, maybe he fights the ring. I mean, I, I don't think that anybody would really be interested in seeing him versus Caleb Plant in a rematch. So. You know, I don't know. I don't. The walls are closing in for Canelo, as all as everybody likes to say. It's not too many people left for him to really fight. It's one guy for him to fight. Um, but that one guy that you know we all want him to fight, it doesn't look like he's interested in uh, fighting him. So I don't know what Canelo does next. But you know, maybe it, <laughs> maybe in a weird way, it'd be good for boxing if Jaime Mangia can beat Canelo Alvarez because then at least that that makes for more in, interesting fight interesting fights you know how does Jaime Mangia do against the likes of Caleb Plant or how does Jaime Mangia do against the likes of like a David Morrell that's you know doubt that I doubt that he fights David Morrell but maybe he fights you know Demetrius Andre if, if Demetrius Andre beats David Morrell you know I, I could see you know good uh, scenarios for Jaime Mangia but as far as Canelo goes 
I, I don't I don't really see uh, what he has uh, left to offer. And also, man, somebody call Keith Thurman and tell Keith Thurman to um, either retire. I, I, call, I, you know, I consider him the Derrick Rose of boxing, but either retire, move down to 147, and fight the winner of Stan Jonas and Gabriel must whatever. All right? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Are you interested in this card? But what do I know?